Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting and sharing my thoughts on the newly released A Monster Calls movie trailer. This movie is being released in October, there's not like a specifically set date yet, but it is being released in the month of October, and there was a new American trailer that was released a few days ago, so I thought that today I would react to it. If you didn't know, this is a book-to-movie adaptation of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. If you have not read the book, you should totally read the book, it's a super easy read, and it doesn't take very long to get through, there's loads of cool graphics throughout it and pictures so you should totally get your hands on this book and read it I have a review up for this book as well if you want to hear all my thoughts on the book and why you should read it I'll leave that review down below in the description box but today I'm just gonna be watching the trailer for the first time and then coming back and talking with you guys about it this is the second trailer that has been released I have reacted to the first trailer as well so if you want to watch that video as well I will leave a link to it down below so let's get to watching and talking about this trailer I'm gonna first watch the trailer and I'm gonna have to mute the audio because I don't want to get a copyright strike but then after I watch the trailer I will come back and talk to you and share all my thoughts with you so let's do this okay here we go I'm gonna go take care of that right now. Hot dang! That made me it's literally emotional. I was brought to tears. I wasn't like bawling my eyes out, but I was teary-eyed, y'all. I knew it was gonna be an emotional one. The last trailer didn't move me as much as this one did. I think this one, there was like so many different things going to it that made it just so much more emotional. It had the music. We had a lot more of the relationship between the mother and the son, which is a big part of the story itself. And there were just so many elements within this trailer that just made it so much more emotional. We open with the scene of the boy watching his mother watch an old home video and it instantly got me so emotional because of everything that the mom is going through and the journey that she's on throughout this story. It's like she's looking back on her life when she was happy and healthy and my heart just broke into a million pieces at that simple first opening scene. Now Felicity Jones is playing the mom and I think that that is just such a perfect fit. She is an amazing actress and I can't wait to see what she does with this character and I know that she'll do a great job of showcasing the emotional journey that this mom is on. And I also think that the little boy actor did a fantastic job of bringing that character to life. He did a really good job of showcasing the difficulties that the little boy is going through throughout the story because he's not only facing this journey with his mom, he's also got other things happening like being bullied at school and whatnot. And I just really like how the trailer showcased how layered his story is. We have a lot of really interesting shots in this trailer as well and that got me super excited. It looks like it's going to be an artsy fartsy movie and I am here for it. I am here for the creativity. I love the scene where the monster is first introduced we've got like things in his room that are rattling and then we like go out the window and the world just like opens up and the monster just rises out of the earth and there he is and it was just such an epic scene I also really love the scene where the church is crumbling and he's in the graveyard and it's windy and stormy and madness is happening all over the place that scene was just really powerful and oh man that scene at the end where the mom is in the hospital and the boy is talking to her and we have that narrative where she's saying it's okay if you're angry I'm angry too and if you need to break things by God you break them that's the point I think where I really lost it I was just like okay this is happening, I'm getting sad, I'm, I'm starting to get teary-eyed. And this song they used in this trailer was so fitting, it fits the story so well. The song they used is apparently Lower Your Eyelids to Die with the Sun by M83, and it is perfect, it's perfect. The title is fitting to the story, the song itself is fitting to the story. So overall, I am looking forward to this film. I know it's gonna just completely destroy me, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this adaptation. It looks like it's gonna be a near-perfect adaptation and I am so happy about that. It looks like it's getting the adaptation that it deserves. So those are all my thoughts on the A Monster Calls trailer. I'll leave a link down below to the trailer so you can tell me all your thoughts down below in the comments. Also let me know down below if you have or if you haven't read A Monster Calls. If you haven't you should totally read it and let me know if you're gonna read it before the movie because I highly recommend going and getting the book and reading it before the movie. If you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thank 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, too. Okay, we'll go.